Good evening. Those rescuers in Thailand are preparing for what may be the best of two bad options as those boys and their coach enter a third week stuck inside a cave. People around the world are holding their breath, including a B.C. man who's been in a similar situation and came out alive. CTV Sarah McDonald reports. The world is watching and the clock is ticking as pictures of desperation emerge from this grim situation in Thailand. A dozen boys and their soccer coach trapped in a living nightmare inside a cave with too much water and not enough oxygen to sustain them for much longer. The local governor announcing Saturday that although the boys aren't yet ready to scuba dive or swim their way to safety, they may have to. The most favorable conditions expected in the next several days. That rescue operation already claiming the life of one expert diver, now expected to begin by Sunday. The surreal experience of being trapped and then saved is one Andrew Munoz knows all too well. The BC paramedic and caving enthusiast living through it firsthand. You don't let this water take you. His partner falling during a 2015 expedition on Vancouver Island, nearly drowning and hypothermic. By the time he was stabilized, it was too late to escape. We were trapped by flooding water, uh, filling the only way that we had out. So we spent the next 18 hours huddled on a small sloping rock ledge. And all the while their helmet cameras were rolling, capturing harrowing moments of an ordeal few survive. You're on it! Trying circumstances for anyone, let alone children. In those young formative years to have an experience like that, uh, this, this will stick with them for life. The physiological condition of the boys plays a big part. Letters from those boys are now offering a glimpse into that. The youngest telling his parents, I am fine, get ready to take me out for fried chicken. Uh, that boy's father among the relatives now waiting and watching with bated breath, alongside millions, including Munoz. He and his partner living to tell the tale of an experience. Head up! Head up! Few can even imagine. Sarah McDonald, CTV News, Vancouver.